Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel what i have for you guys today is just going to be a quick first impression on the new l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear i did pick up the color 475 sun beige i currently don't own any other l'oreal foundations the last one that i had i think i must have thrown it out because it was expired if you want to see my thoughts a first impression with this foundation just keep on watching don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell and enter my giveaway. I, you still have one whole week. I will announce the winner next week. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's just go ahead and jump into this tutorial. We are gonna be trying this new L'Oreal foundation. This is the Infallible Fresh Wear. It does have SPF of 25. I got the shade 475, which is sun beige. And honestly, right now I don't have any I don't have any L'Oreal foundations, but the last time I did have one, I want to say that that's the color I was. This is what the pump looks like. It's very different, a little bit more modern. Okay, guys, I will just be using a little bit of my NYX pore filler just because I always use this with any foundation that I wear. And I will be applying it with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. It's just been a brush that I've recently been using a lot more. Um, I feel like it's fanned out a little bit more and I think I kind of like it a little bit more like this. So that's just what I've been using. Per use, I just grab like a little dime size amount, I guess you could say. I figured I would share the foundation. I don't know if it's going to match me and that's kind of what I'm afraid of when I choose colors on online. So one pump is definitely enough. As you can see, it's very, very runny, very liquidy right away. Just gonna go ahead and apply it like I usually do. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of dark. No, I think it'll be okay. Mm. It smells a little perfumey. If anything, I'll just look a little tan. <laughs> it looks nice. What do you guys think? You think that color matches me? I think it does. I think if I would have gone one shade lighter, it would be a little too light. I think this is okay. But as you can see, one pump, um, I did spread it out. I mean, the brush could have definitely absorbed some, et cetera, et cetera. But I just really want to work in sections because I, I pretty much do that anyways. I want to say it's like a good medium coverage. I just put it on the back of my hand and I'm tapping it in. And then I just like to basically pat it on the skin, kind of like push it in the skin. Because there's still plenty of product in the brush. I think the color's okay. At first, I feel like it looks orange. <laughs> but I mean, aside from the color, I think it's blending out very nicely. <laughs> I'm not having an issue blending it out. My ears get so red. <laughs> It'll look okay once I put on concealer and brighten up my skin a little bit, but what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. So here is just a close-up. You guys tell me what you think. Don't mind my bold eye look. <laughs> but I honestly thought if I have a really bold eye, you can really see what color my foundation is versus if I have nothing just because my lids could be a different color. Okay guys, now I think I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face and then I will be back. That way you guys can see what it looks like with a little bit of concealer, blush, bronzer, all that good stuff, and some eyebrows <laughs> because I have no eyebrows right now. So I will be right back. So overall, um, I really like the foundation. Um, when I first received it, I thought it was going to be too dark, but it's not. It blended out really nicely. It's very liquidy. I did use two pumps and I did use my brush as you guys saw, but I think it I think it looks really good. 
it doesn't seem to be settling into my lines and sometimes when i'm wearing a foundation like this that's very thin and consistency and very liquidy i find it to settle into my smile lines right here because i have i have pretty deep smile lines so I don't see it doing that and I didn't set my face. I just set my under eyes. I normally don't set my foundation unless I know it's a foundation that needs to be set. But most of the time I don't set my face. Whatever is left over from my under eye powder, I will just kind of tap it around my smile lines and maybe my forehead, but that's pretty much it. Just because when I bronze up the skin, I'm basically setting that part of my face with that powder and the blush and the highlight. So. I think it looks really good. I like it. I think the color matched me pretty good. I don't see it settling in here either. And most of the time it does settle into these frown lines. I have a lot of lines. It sucks. I don't even want to do this when I'm doing my makeup. And that's why I'll pull my eyebrows up. <laughs> if you guys notice when I do that to my eye, it's because I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I think it looks really good guys. So I will definitely keep you posted on the longevity. I'm obviously not going to wear it for 24 hours. There's only so many products I can get right, right away, but I figured I would pick this one up just because I don't even have a L'Oreal foundation right now. And I love trying new foundations. So I think it looks really good. And I did get this again on Amazon for $11.99, which is really good. It does have the standard one ounce. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this mini first impression. I'll probably keep using it because I know some of you guys have asked me to do more drugstore tutorials as in eyeshadow palettes, foundation, basically a full face of drugstore. So another reason why I wanted to pick that up. So I hope you guys liked this video thank you for coming to watch my giveaway ends next friday so you definitely still have time please go ahead and enter my giveaway i do have a james charles palette that i'm giving away and that's it i hope i will see you in my next video